Tamara Judge, 55, is known for starring on Real Housewives of Orange County and used her platform to share the terrifying ordeal that happened at her daughter's school. The reality star broke down in tears as she shared text messages from her terrified daughter Sophia Barney when her school was placed under lockdown on Thursday. The teenager, currently a high school senior, informed her mother the sheltering process had begun. The text read, not a drill. We're being locked in the classes with the lights off. Sophia went on to inform her mother she was hiding right now and heard police sirens but did not know if there was a shooter. After the man was brought into custody, the TV personality shared an emotional video going into more detail about what happened. She said in view of her one 7 million Instagram followers, breaking down throughout. I want you to know everything's okay and they caught the guy. But, there was someone who came into my daughter's school today, with a weapon. The kids are traumatized. The teachers are traumatized. Tamara went on to detail how children were being told to lay on the floor after teachers barricaded the door with bookshelves. Fiona Bruce speaks out as irreplaceable BBC co-star dies suddenly, latest, a place in the sun star talked down from window after mental torture, comment, Matt Baker inundated with support as he shares sad loss on farm, insight, she explained, one teacher handed out hammers. Another had a fire extinguisher ready to go to another somebody. There's nothing you can do in this FG world. I am so sick of it. I'm so sick of what's going on. My daughter, now, doesn't want to go back to school. It's her senior year. This has got to stop. Tamara said these texts are something no parent wants to get, leaving the reality star feeling helpless. San Juan Hills High School in San Juan Capistrano, California, was temporarily locked down when a man trespassed on campus and informed security guards he had a weapon. The incident was confirmed by the Orange County Sheriff's Department. Authorities said that the man was searched and the weapon he had on him was a pocket knife. According to the aforementioned publication, the man was taken into custody, but it was not immediately clear if he was arrested or released. The scary ordeal comes less than two weeks after six people were killed by a shooter at the Covenant School in Nashville, Tennessee. The shooting marked the 129th mass shooting in the United States this year, 